and welcome to Obi-Wan Name Daily News Updates. This is Ugo Chenyere bringing you this very news on this fateful Saturday, the 7th day of March 2020. Coronavirus. Many feared dead as quarantine hotel collapse traps infected patients. A quarantine hotel building has collapsed in Kwazua in China at around 7 p.m. China time, 3 p.m. local time on Saturday, trapping an unknown number of people under it. According to source, about 35 out of the 70 have been pulled from the rubble of the five-story Xinjia Hotel by the country's rescue workers who have remained on their way. Video posted online show emergency workers combing through the building's wreckage in the southern province of Fujian. Obi-Wan name news gathered that the collapsed hotel in Kwazua trapping about 70 people under was a designated quarantine place for people who are suspected of having coronavirus or have close contacts with coronavirus patients so far. 28 people have been rescued. 23 people have been rescued as of 9 p.m. local time. A total of 70 people were reportedly trapped under the collapsed building in Kwazua, Fujian, so says. As at the time of filling this report, it has not been clear what caused the collapse or if anyone has died. However, our whole hearted Sympathy goes to China and the victims of this very incident. And we pray to Chuku Okike Abiyama Onye Purimi Henini to come to their rescue and rescue them of this affliction as soon as possible. He said, Lagos Ibadan Rail project is on pause because of coronavirus and RC bus. Following the delay in the completion of the Lagos Ibadan Rail project mr jerry oche lagos railway district manager has said that the nigerian government would not sacrifice the health of her citizens owing to the outbreak of the coronavirus disease than any project obi-wan name news understood that most chinese chinese working with the ccecc went to china for the new year celebration and had not returned before the outbreak of this disease in their country. Oche also said that if the Chinese were going to come back to Nigeria and continue the project, they must be certified coronavirus free so as to protect the country. It would be recalled that the Minister for Transportation, Mr. Rotimi Amechi, had before warned earlier that the outbreak of the coronavirus in China might stall the completion of the Lagos Ibadan Rail project. The project, which is handled by the China Civil Engineering and Construction Corporation, CCECC, and supposedly to be on completion on or before April, is facing a huge threat by the COVID-19, which has become a global health challenge. According to Amechi, the delay might not be unconnected to the fact that the bulk of the workforce handling the projects were stuck in China, where the disease broke out and spread to other countries. Also remember that a few weeks ago, it was recorded that an Italian infected by the disease arrived in Nigeria and Ever since then, we've not heard his name. We are also yet to see his details and know this very man. But there have not been any proof that the coronavirus has infected Nigerians or Nigeria. This is just an avenue of flimsy excuses, a way to divert billions and millions of naira. Just as usually done by our politicians please 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 don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more news updates this is obi one name news
to you exclusive world politics culture and tradition around the world businesses sports african news entertainment and lots more visit obiwanimnews.com